Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek, Starfleet Academy Starship Bridge Simulator on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System with me, Get Daved. These, these simulations aren't always about combat. Alright, well... We don't really have you practice diplomacy, but we preach it. Study the Hana Protostar. Alright, you got it. Go scan something. Alright. Well, we were warned to be diplomatic, so... We're not going to assume the worst. We're on our way to the Hanab Protostar. Since our shields won't protect me, I'm not going to bother raising them at all. That's not true. Let me try. High energy subspace signal generated from near the protostar. So much for getting readings. Some kind of ship caught in a gravitational field. Attempting to send some kind of signal to the Ajman sector. Okay, that was a lot more informative than I thought it would be. Well, you can see some sort of ship there. Again, use your imagination. Let's see what we can do here. Alright, there's a ship of some sort. I don't see a planet, but that's fine. Okay is on par with us, is what I got from that. Hello! Oh, these guys again. I'm Tupac. Of the Confederacy. What are you doing so close to our borders? I'm a jerk. May we be of assistance. Okay, they have special shielding. All right, let's work together, everybody, for a better future. Oh goodness, collision. All right, what do we got? I guess we should talk to them again. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna fly in, they're gonna shield us. Hope we live. Let's just check that again. Oh, we should be safe. Okay, don't worry everybody, we should be safe. I'm gonna cruise on in. Have an opportunity to make a very good first impression with this Hycombia Confederation. I hope you're as excited as I am. Yes, this ship is not very fast. This is before they had things like in Star Trek Online, they have the little full impulse button that lets you rocket ahead. That's nice. Alright, it's kind of trapped there. I don't know why we're not trapped, but anyway. No response. Let's track to them. And they go from zero to whatever our top speed is instantly. I hope everyone lived. Well, with the severe case of whiplash and all that. And home free? Oh my goodness, the star! Okay. He didn't scan it. I hope we don't have a problem. Uh, wait, we're gonna slow down first because that's how we roll. And like all games, there aren't proper orbital mechanics. 
Uh, I guess we hail them again? Nothing to hail. Oh, they're hailing us. Yeah. Goodbye. That was kind of abrupt, but whatever. Did you get your sensors? All right, well, mission complete, I think. I guess we can just hail them right now. Boom, 100%. Y'all should be cheating off my tests. All right, everybody's gotta be pretty pumped. So what's new? Begrudging students. <laughs> you aren't very friendly. I don't know if you'll ever warm up to us. You didn't learn that. Oh, I'm glad that wasn't the end of her conversation. Yeah, they can be. They left a breadcrumb trail for us, though. How's it going, Robin? Jones in his punch. Hey! I kind of like that interaction. It's the most conflict that has ever been in an episode of Star Trek. Uh, okay. Do we get a Miranda-class cruiser? No. Is the Gamma Nebula. Disable them. Destroy them? Yes. Yeah, you don't have your shields. Oh, I remember when I was your age. Alright, well, let's rock and roll. Alright, to the Ingamma Nebula. By which I mean to the sector right next to the Ingamma Nebula. Just, uh, gives us a chance to get, get the engines hot. Get a torpedo loaded. Feel a pang of fear as, uh, we don't have any shields. One down. Probably should have checked that that was a nav beacon first, but uh, I don't know where the Venturi ship is. Might be this thing. Beacon two destroyed. Okay, can't stop, won't stop. We don't have shields, so we're probably in big trouble against a Venturi. Uh, is that all of them? Um... There wasn't some glitch with respawning. I think we got all of them. Uh, let's... Let's not learn any lessons from this. All right. Uh, one of us is going to die very soon, and I don't want to be that one. We shot them up a bit. We'll call it a draw. Even though I probably only needed to score one more hit. Okay, get our nice chill music. And off to second year. Please tell me the mission was a success. All right, cool. I freaked out a little bit because we didn't destroy them in order. I don't think, anyway. Hey, welcome to second year, everybody. 
hope it goes better than my second year of university. Yahoo.com. Yeah, keep it in your pants. <laughs> Don't celebrate the small victories or the big ones. That is a fact. Hmm. The emotional toll is truly the greatest. That was very agreeable. Hi, sir. Yeah, maybe. Sure. Alright, to bed, and then second year. Oh, I remember this one. Okay, so this is kind of the reason I wanted to let's play this series. We're not going to talk about it anymore. Just check it out. The Excalibur. So they gave us all these new weapons and a powerful new ship. And a star system is about to go Nova. inhabitants are in the meth system. 40,000? And we can rescue 1,000. Congratulations, everybody. We get to decide who lives and who dies. Alright, here are our messages. Prepare to make your choice, everybody. And post in the comment section. My wife gave birth to our only child. Now we learn our child and everyone else here, they'll die. Dr. Mondu. We got some doctors. A culture that could go extinct. Free merchant freighter Volt. We were carrying the Prince of the Bayons back to his homeworld when we were stranded here. This race will go to war. Billions of lives are at stake. Alright, everybody. Take notes. Who would you save? Family, doctors, uh, culture, or civilization, or uh, prince. And now, I remember this. The ship was called... Well, let's go through. 600 colonists. Okay, that's not going to save as many people as possible. The involved race. And the Volt. It's wanted for several violations, most notable of which is smuggling. We've got ourselves a scumbag. Also, maybe he can fix his ship in time? Alright, so if you picked the Prince, subtract 100 get Dave points. I am going to prevent the culture from being wiped out, assuming they're at men of three. Otherwise, I'm just going to save whoever's there. Uh, start beaming? Alright, and the minimum safe distance is really far away, but we're just going to go all the way back. Also, if you go to warp and you're right in front of a planet or like other object, you will actually hit it and die. And hail. Mission accomplished. 100%. We didn't try to do more than what was possible. I basically banked on the fact that we could probably get 600 really smart people if we're only rescuing 1,000 of 30,000. Like, you're taking the right half of the bell curve in that situation. And, um, look, if all those doctors know about the internet and Dropbox, I think their research will continue to help the Federation. Fact is, scientific knowledge can be rediscovered, but a lost culture, a 
is just gone forever. Oh, I'm always overwhelmed. I'm cranky. <laughs> I kind of like him, actually. A test of character. Nothing defines a culture more than its tests. That's a kind of boring outlook. Oh, whoops, we already talked to you. And Gaia? You should go for it. Oh, I get enough stretching, I'm gonna crawl out of bed. Put that on a bumper sticker. I'd rather be fishing. I'm pretty sure that's my guy on the left, Ken, by the window, Jones in the middle. I think Sturrock is off to the right looking out the window. I'm going to say Robin is the one sipping the coffee, and then Party Animal Jeff is the one in Party Animal position. Alright, that's it for this episode, I think. Next time, no, wait, let's do one more. Let's do one more. This is not been that long. It's not to overestimate your firepower. Or one bird of prey. Yeah, you will never be in a situation where more lives are saved by like letting your ship destroy. There's no mission where you gotta give up your life. Several freighters have been mysteriously destroyed. Okay, we're gonna escort one. Hmm. All right. Let's see what we got. And let's not overestimate our firepower. Uh, let's double check. Go to the Miraz system. Isn't there... Is there a character in Narnia named Miraz? Somebody's uncle. I'm gonna say it's Prince Caspian. Anyway, his uncle. She will follow us through warp to Alka. Okay. Kinda feel like I should put my shields up. Oh goodness! Entering the Alka sector. You can see the planet off there, but let's check out the old Nicholas. Do a sensor sweep to be diligent. Everything is going well so far. Oh my goodness! <laughs> a subspace signal struck the freighter moments before our destruction, originated in sector 15021. Then that's where we're going. And I now remember this, so we're going to hit the old save state. And what am I thinking? Alright. So just switching to long range sensors because you picked up an object. Yeah, we don't need long range sensors. Medium will do. You can see we're a little bit faster now. Yeah. Bird of prey, bad. Trouble. Keep the engine grinding. So they can cloak at will, which is really nasty. Okay, we found a hidden Klingon base. We must report this. Alright, we have to live to report this. Um... Yeah, Bird of Prey, it's like disruptors do more damage and they recharge faster and it's they're really strong. And the game actually has like a balance problem with it because there's a Klingon battle cruiser and there's a Klingon Bird of Prey. The Bird of Prey can cloak and it's really fast and it's really maneuverable. And if the battle cruiser and the Bird of Prey just sit still and just shoot all their weapons as fast as they can, 
don't dodge, don't nothing. The Bird of Prey still wins, even though it's like supposed to be a more brittle, like agile sort of ship. So if you encounter one, it's bad news and you need to run away. Unless you're in a constitution class. Okay, let's let's report. That's all we gotta do. We're gonna run away and live. And hope that's not all we have to do. Hey! We found the base. Congratulations. I'm bored. <laughs> Two missions and he wants a heavy cruiser. We're surviving. Oh. Ugh, you and me both. Both, man. Alright. Melvok or Garada? Alright, I can't really relate to that. Oh yeah, now you're jumping on that bandwagon. Hi, sir. That's right, we're overdue for something to go wrong. Oh. It was interesting. Alright, next time we hammer through second year, I suppose.